Today, we are looking at individual income tax. Now, we've normally asked ourselves, best can we know the amount of tax an individual pays in a given period of time to the tax collection authorities or tax collection body? What we do, we calculate what we call income tax. And income tax, before we talk about anything else, it is a tax that is imposed on a person's chargeable income at specific rates for a given period of time. That is income tax. That charge that they normally put on someone's total income and you have to pay that money to the tax collection authority for a given period of time and in specific rates is what you call income tax. In the definition of income tax, there is a statement that it is normally gotten from chargeable income. Now the question will go, what is chargeable income again? Now, chargeable income, chargeable income. Chargeable income of a person is the total gross income of this individual in a given period of time. However, that income does not include expenses. The expenses that we incur while um, earning this income are excluded from what you call chargeable income. And we normally say chargeable income refers to gross income of an individual, less expenses and losses. That's why we normally say chargeable income is gross income, less expenses and losses. That is chargeable income. Now, in the same statement, we have gross income. Now, because we've seen what income tax is, what chargeable income is, now there is another statement that comes along with them, and that is gross income. Now, for gross income, this. Gross income. Gross income refers to the total amount of earnings of an individual, the amount that you earn in a given period of time, especially for a given financial year, the amount that you earn from all the sources, if they add it together, they are what we call gross income. However, gross income does not include the tax exemptions because there are gains that we get like pension, talk about life insurance, that will not be Tax, and we call those ones tax exemptions. So those ones are not included when calculating gross income. And you remember, gross income in a particular is gotten from three major sources. One, you may be operating a business, and when operating a business, the amount of charge you pay or you receive is called business income. You may be having property. And the money you earn from all the property is called property income. Or you may be employed somewhere, and what you earn as salary or wage, we call it employment income. Now, either of the three sources, we normally say, according to the Employment Act, sorry, according to the Income Tax Act, we normally say that gross income or income must be earned from those three major sources. We said gross income should equal to total income minus tax exemptions. Minus tax exemptions. However, we also said that the total income according to the um, Income Tax Act, total income, total income, is always gotten from the addition of employment income, employment income, we add on business income, business income, and we add on property income, property 
income. The sum of the three give us the total, the total income. And the total income, make sure that you don't make a mistake of adding on total ex exemptions or tax exemptions. If you have more than two exemptions, we get total tax exemptions. The exemptions are normally deducted from the calculations of gross income. With these, with these, uh, you have income tax as the tax imposed on your chargeable income. And now you're saying chargeable income is the gross income. Make sure that you subtract off all of the expenditures that you make in the process of earning this, earning this income. And we are saying the gross income we are talking about is also a different statement that says get the total incomes, subtract off total exemptions. But also the total incomes are gotten from three major sources. According to the Income Tax Act, you have you either an employee somewhere and what you earn is employment income. Either you're operating a business and what you earn is business income, or you own a property. You may, it may be, uh, you may rent out this property and you get money. You may have rentals or anything else that you earn from your property. So it is property income. The sum of the three give us what we call gross income. With this little summary, we can now have examples. And when you have these ones at your fingertips, the examples become very simple. When you look at our examples, the first one, Franco, earned income from the following sources. Employment income, 2 million, 400,000. Property income, 500,000. Business income, 1 million. In addition, he incurred 800,000 as expense and loss. However, he had also tax exemptions. So they said tax exempt amounted to shillings. 104, 140,000. If someone tells you, you have this information, they now ask you, calculate, calculate, Roman one, Franco's, Franco's, chargeable, chargeable income. The question has requested for only chargeable income. But remember, to get chargeable income is a combination of two things. In your, in your solution, you tell us that chargeable income, chargeable income is equal to gross income, gross income minus expenses and loss. And loss. Chargeable income equals gross income minus expenses and losses. However, we have chargeable income within, sorry, gross income within here. So gross income is supposed to be calculated independently as well. So we calculate gross income first, so, but, but gross income, gross income is equal to total incomes minus tax exemptions minus tax exemptions when we talk about total incomes we mean the sum of employment income property income and business income it is okay for someone to say also also uh, total incomes total income is equal to Property income, property income plus employment income plus employment income, income, then plus the business, business income. Now, the addition of the three incomes will give you total incomes. Now, put the other, their figures. So we have two millions four hundred thousand hundred thousand plus sorry property income is five hundred thousand from the question then plus employment income which is two millions 
400,000. Then plus business income, which is 1 million. Which is 1 million. Now, the sum of the three is 1 million. Get a calculator and add along with me. 1 million plus 2 million, so those are 3 million. 3 million is 400,000. When you add 500,000 to 400,000, you end up getting 3 million. 3 million. Uh, we say this 400 and 500 becomes 900,000. 900, now, the amount of money you have here is the value for the total, the total incomes. Remember, we are looking for the gross income in this sense, such as that we can substitute there. So we will say, therefore, gross income, gross income will equal to total incomes, which is 3 million, 900,000 now, 3 million, 900,000, minus tax exemptions, say tax exemptions, which are uh, 140, 140,000, and this one will give you 3 million, 760,000. Uh, if you have this figure, now you have the value. These are shillings. Don't forget currency units. These are shillings. 3,760,000. After getting this, now move with this figure the way it is and put it where there is gross income in the formula for finding chargeable income. So I'm rubbing you for this first part such that I can calculate finally the chargeable income. So here we have there are four chargeable income. Chargeable income is now equal to gross income, which is three million seven hundred and sixty thousand minus the expenses and loss. In that, in that, which is eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred. Can you put up a calculator and tell me the answer? It's 3 million 760 minus 800,000. What would be the figure? The figure? Two million nine hundred and sixty thousand. Is this the figure? If every person is getting this figure, then we are good to go. Then we say uh, this figure that you have is finally the chargeable income that they are requesting for. Now, when you look at this value, don't forget to put the currency units, please. Now, you've totally done the question. You've done gross income alongside chargeable income. I have a package for you. This trial question is for you in your free time. Get time and calculate it. I'm going to put its answer in the description of this video. Uh, Miss Chirabo Susan, a resident, of Lungala and the income from different sources in the year 2023 as indicated below. Business income, 1 million. Employment income, 2 million, 400,000. Property income, 500,000. She incurred expenses totaling to 1 million, 200,000 to earn the income. Shillings 150 is exempted from ta tax. Please calculate or determine her gross income and her chargeable income. I'm going to put the answers to this or to this question in the description of this video. Thank you so much. Please always enjoy as you learn. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. If you feel you need to ask anything, please put it in the comment section. I shall always respond and answer. Thank you so much.